Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken Domic product review just for you. This was a fan package sent to me from England from Jen and she works at a store called Walthamberry Stores or Walt Amberry Stores and she sells all these at her shop and picked out a few things that she thought I would enjoy and the family and as you can see we've already opened them all because I did this during a live show. Actually she gave me two bags of this so this one's not opened yet. We ate the other bag though. Thanks Jen. Uh, so I did this as a live show and it didn't translate over to YouTube very well so I thought I'd do a brand new one redoing it properly just for you. All right guys so uh, I'm not sure how I should go about doing this. Uh, I can't remember what I did. Uh, let's let's start with the, the Kit Kat because I didn't enjoy this Kit Kat, Kit Kat whatsoever. Uh, it is vanilla Kit Kat. And out of all the Kit Kats I've ever tried, this is probably like the worst Kit Kat. And I'm sorry for the people that love vanilla Kit Kat, but it's just a regular Kit Kat. It smells like a regular Kit Kat. Until you eat it. That would be a do not recommend. It's just something weird about it. I'm not sure what it is. As you can see by this very large chocolate bar that there's only one piece left. Because Ben and I and the family devoured it. And it got broken in the last little bit there. So this is um, Milky Way cookies or milk and cookies sharing blocks. So the cookies that are supposed to be in this are gingerbread or ginger snaps maybe and white chocolate plus uh, I guess some type of a cream kind of a, it's almost reminds me of the, like an Oreo chocolate bar <laughs> they even show you how to divide it up on the back so if you like white chocolate and you like ginger snaps and you, this would be right up your alley for me it's really sweet and I like white chocolate once in a while but this would be like and indifferent for me this one uh, let's move over to these two nibbles so they're basically digestive cookies that are broken down into like little balls and then they put, coat them in chocolate and what I discovered I thought these were gonna be my favorite but the dark chocolate that they use on these this is not good but on these ones Much better. I wish I could remember the type of cookie that I enjoy that is a digestive cookie with chocolate either on one side or all the way around. I guess those regular uh, digestives you can buy in, in Canada and the United States. I got a cat walking around here. <laughs> and uh, so that's, I would definitely recommend these indifferent to these i would never buy these again i would definitely buy these again and they're saying it's really good for buying just before you go into the movie theater uh or if you're watching uh, a movie at home um uh, or if uh you're on the go driving in the car and i could see that just sitting right beside you just keep plucking them out that's very cool so this is this was my favorite out of all the the five they look like the m m's that you could get here in canada that are the um, pretzel ones. So I remember these did come out. I can't, I don't think I've ever seen them since they came out. They came out once and then they were gone and then the pretzel ones came out. And I remember one, one, uh, going to buy these and I bought them and I was so shocked that they were pretzels and I'm not a huge pretzel fan. I don't mind pretzels, but not in M&Ms. So those are your typical M&Ms, all the colors of an M&M, but inside, There's crispies inside. Almost like a big rice crispy. They're great, but on a scale of uh, M&Ms, it's peanut M&Ms, chocolate M&Ms, and then these. That's the order in which I like. And I think M&Ms makes um, a mint one, and I really like them, and that would actually be above the crisps as well. So it'd be peanut M&Ms, see if you guys agree with me. Peanut M&Ms are my favorite, then M&Ms, and then this, the mint M&M's and then these ones would be my last out of those four that I chose. There's even more flavors than I, that I know of, uh, I'm pretty sure. 
So there you go, guys. Uh, out of all these things, these would be the first choice of all these five things. Then it would go to the uh, chocolate nibbles. And then chances are I'd buy this over these two things. But this definitely is a would not recommend. I'm going to go would not recommend for that. Uh, would recommend for the M&Ms. Is it a go out and get it now? Yeah. Like I said, peanut M&Ms are a go out and get it now. All right, guys, I'd really like to thank Jen for sending me this little fan package all the way from England. Uh, if you want to send me something, please email me uh, at kendomic at gmail.com. All the, the links are in the description below. Uh, please email me before you send me something so I can lay down the rules for you. Uh, also, Jen sent these two things. So we got some dog treats and we got some cat treats. And if you would like to see uh, me do a food review with my cats and dog, uh, Please click the like button. Let's see how many likes we can get for a uh, cat food. Uh, I might even eat one, depending on how many uh, likes we get. If we get over 5,000 likes on this video, I will try this as well as the cats and dogs. It'll be a very interesting video. But first the animals, then me. All right, guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. And we'll see you next time on another Kendomic product review. Kendomic out. Thanks, Jen. Bye. Out. Boop.